Okay, we've just become the new manager of Barcelona, the sixth team we've managed in this journeyman series. And the goal in Spain is to make Barcelona the best team in the world again. Now, in the last episode, we spent a lot of money, basically $340 million on transfers. We're probably going to be investigated, but even after all those signings, we might not be done. So drop a like if you want to see more of this series and let's get back into it. So right now we're driving to a meeting with uh, Barcelona president, Joan Laporta. I guess you could call it like an emergency meeting. Something big has come up. So we arrive at the Barcelona offices and we sit down with Laporta. Now he says, even though we're outside of the transfer window, there's a free agent that we want you to look at signing. His dream is to play for Barcelona and he could be the next Barcelona superstar. But before that first comment, if this is the final team you're going to manage, what a way to end FIFA 23. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the final team we're going to manage in this FIFA, our last team in this journeyman series. Now there is the World Cup after this season though, and there are some plans for that. Next one, you should sign Javi since he is Spanish. Yeah, I would love to sign Javi. I really would. But his value is uh, three. 342 million. We can't really afford that. We bought like 11 players with that amount. So for now, it's unfortunate, but for now, we can't sign him. And last one, send the youth scouts to Mexico to find the next Hugo Sanchez. So you guys in the comments told me where to send our scouts to. And we're going to do that a little bit later in the episode. For now, though, about this uh, free agent player. Now, once again, we're in the year, what, 2029? So there are free agents in the free agents that should not be in the free agent section. We're just so late in the save. There's a lot of weird stuff. And I noticed that Joao Felix is a currently a free agent. Now he's 29 years old and he's 85 rated. And of course, he just signed for Barcelona real life. So I saw this and I was like, come on, we cannot not sign Felix up. I mean, his stats are insane this late in the game. So he could really help out this team. And he said his dream was to play for Barcelona. So we're going to make that dream come true in this series as well as real life. He could be Barcelona's next superstar. Who knows? I think in real life, he'll be good for us. But in this series, we'll find out because just like that, Joao Felix has been signed up to Barcelona. So now this is probably the final signing of this first window, I'd say. Felix, welcome to Barcelona. So we now have a backup striker to Jorgensen. And of course, Felix will play at the wing, play at cam, basically anywhere in the attack. So he will be very useful. So for now, he's going to take Fedon Torres a spot on the bench. It's unfortunate, but we just have a lot of really good forwards. So Felix is added to that list. So Joao Felix's debut is going to come against Real Sociedad. And six games in, we sit two points behind Real Madrid in first. We'll have had a very good start under new manager, uh, Jose Mourinho. So it's already very close to the top. Now, Felix gives a press conference before his Barcelona debut. And he says, once again, it's a dream come true to play for Barcelona. He knows there's a lot of expectations playing for this club. And he hopes that he can exceed them. So Felix starts at striker over Jorgensen. And then Gavi starts in the midfield. Now, now, when we managed Portugal at the Euros, I think I used Felix a little bit, but I don't remember how good he was. So right now, we're definitely going to find out. Barcelona Real Sociedad. Let's see how the new Barcelona superstar, if he is that. Okay, that pass is insane. Ma Miller did, I think just enough. No, he did not. Okay, if you guys remember, Kubo played... I played against Kubo, I think, when we were at Chelsea, right? And he scored like four goals against me, at least a hat-trick, I think. He's already scored and in like six minutes. This through ball was insane. I thought Miller got to it, though. Miller got... Oh, he shoved him, but he couldn't get to the ball. That is a horrible start. Bro, Kubo is just a beast in this save or something. I don't know. It's taken three minutes, actually. We're down 1-0. Okay, now we gotta try and respond here. All right, Gavi gets started today. That's a good pass into De Jong. Gives it to Messi. Messi will try and shoot. De Jong. Oh, that's a penalty. Okay, we get a chance to tie it up immediately. I mean, was that a penalty? I mean, yeah, pretty much. Just took out Messi. Now, Messi, of course, has... Uh, actually, he only has 72 penalties this late. Ramirez has the best pens. Okay, Ramirez, if you take this, you score it. You will be taking the penalties in this team, and Ramirez does score. I mean, he is an ex-Ronaldo, so I guess uh, he's got the penalty stats, too. Okay, interesting start to this game, but it's 1-1. I don't know what it is about Kubo, but his stats must be insane or something. I am just terrified of him. Ramirez gets it over. Felix will be on a run here. Okay, guys. Gavi, that pass right there was pathetic. Rodri to Frank de Jong. Now we got space. Come on, we got to score. This second to take the lead. Felix has barely got a touch here, and that's actually some great dribbling, but ran right into the defender. Out to Messi. Messi might have Felix. Felix, good first touch, but he can't get the shot away, though. All right, that wasn't that bad. Now that's ball behind, though, and uh, Kai and Kosi needs to track back Kai and Kosi. That's really good defending. Here is Gavi. Plays in Jao Felix looking for his first goal for Barcelona and Jao Felix hits the corner of the crossbar. That was almost a perfect shot. That is so unfortunate. Felix waits Ramirez. Ramirez is in. Ramirez will shoot and the keeper makes another good save. Man, that's two chances. We got to score. You're starting to come life though. Felix should have his first goal and his first assist. Messi slips it through to Felix. Felix. Are you going to score this time? Okay, that was some really good defending. I mean, to be fair, Sociedad have defended well so far. But we have two. Rodri will steal it. Felix to Kai and Kosi. Now in Kosi, we're going to try to cross this in. Oh, Ramirez, he almost passed it to Messi. That would have been insane. Or was that De Jong? I don't even know. Felix gets it back. It's going to be Gavi with a long shot. Not bad, but right back to the keeper. Oh, no. Kubo's in again. Kubo, stop. Miller, no. Someone make a tackle on Kubo. I just can't stop Kubo. No one can catch up to him. Man, we had all those chances. Could have scored. Now, Real Sociedad take the lead for halftime. Bro, we just cannot catch up to him. He's like the best player in the world in this save. Man, we should be up 3-1-2-1, but instead we're down a goal here at halftime. But I don't want the first loss of the season to be in this game. We need to respond. And actually score the ball, please. Gavi to De Jong. 
Diong will shoot and Keeper makes a good save. Come on, tie this up. Is that across to Messi? Okay, Messi actually almost got to that. Falls to Gavi. His shot is also going to be saved. I mean, to be fair, Romero, I think, is actually a decent keeper this far into this save. So, I'm not surprised making saves. But we just can't put the ball in the back of the net right now. Messi, great ball to Ramirez. Great ball to Ramirez. Tries to dig up to Felix. Felix almost got to that. Gavi wins it. No, Gavi, you should have won that even better. That header pass was terrible. Oh, man. Why was Miller jogging? Gets it over to... Was that Kubo? What just happened there? The ball went in. Okay, but he was offside. I was about to lose my mind. How did that ball even go in, though? Gavi. Felix. Has a chance to go for a long shot. That had nothing on it, though. Okay, we need subs. We might need Sammy Jorgensen here. That's a good ball, man. Real associate, that might be my bogey team in La Liga. I don't know. Oh, they beat me before, and they're going to do it again. Alisson, great save, though. Okay, I won't lie. Messi had a rough one, so uh, Felix right wing, Jorgensen a striker, and then Pedri's on for Gavi. We got 20 minutes to try and save this game. If they don't score here, though, okay, good tackle by Rodri. Very tough, but it was clean. Oh, my, what a pass. Alisson, what a save, and the clearance will be right back to Alisson. If Real Sociedad win today, they probably deserve it. Pedri, out to Ramirez, Ramirez guys please turn on the jets man he's not faster than this guy that's crazy in Kosi into Jorgensen and Jorgensen was running too fast for him good steal now get it forward actually a great pass there Felix good first touch gets in the box we'll stop oh try to get it back I need someone right behind Felix there everyone was in terrible spots Felix to Jorgensen Jorgensen gets it back to Pedri in the box Pedri looking for a shot will shoot and Pedri scores and ties it up okay five minutes we still got a chance to win this game man we had to search for that one though Pedri that first touch created that space second touch is beautiful too okay five minutes to win this game now or to also lose it problem is that we can get a chance because they have held the ball really good so far today St. Just great tackle though come on find it boys out to Kai and Kosi and Kosi gets it to Miguel Ramirez, what a pass by Kai and Kosi. Ramirez scores the winner. Oh, man, the Manchester United youth players combining at Barcelona to win. Oh, we just stole three points. These three points, is this is theft. We do not deserve this win. Oh, Kai and Kosi, that pass is so good, though. Ramirez, great finish. This right here is absolute robbery. Just please, ref, blow the whistle. How much time we got it on? Come on, we got a minute. We got a minute. That's it, ref, blow the whistle. Oh, De Jong, great steal. They don't get a chance. And that's full time. I can't believe we just won that. I totally thought we were going to lose, but 85th minute tied it up and then a winner by Kai and Kosi Miguel Ramirez that is a like character building win right there so Real Madrid drew their game and now we have a game at hand over uh, both Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid so win our next game we tie points with Real Madrid that win was very important now speaking of Real Madrid apparently Jose Mourinho has been hyping up the first meeting between us and Real Madrid the first El Clasico it's gonna be in this episode and I can imagine it's gonna be absolutely insane but next up Villarreal away which usually is not an easy game now for this game uh Frank Dion gets a rest and Julian Holst gets to start his first appearance for Barcelona. Now, he is the youth player we found at Ajax, so he was dubbed uh, the next Frankie de Jong. We'll see what he does in this game, which, like I said, could be a little bit tough. Kosi gets to Ramirez. Ramirez feeds in Sam Jorgensen. Back to Ramirez. Oh, they're already combining so well. Man, Ramirez, I need you to shoot that earlier. He took so long to shoot that. And also, Kunde is finally back from his injury, so Kunde starts it right back, too. Jorgensen plays it to Holst. Holst, on his debut, almost has got a chance to score. Now, Holst and Jorgensen play together at Ajax, obviously, so there is some chemistry there, and we just saw it on display. Holst into Jorgensen, and it's 1-0 to Barcelona. Already an assist on a Holst's debut. And that's just a very simple but beautiful goal right there. 11 minutes in, 1-0 to Barca. Now, that's a great ball behind Kunde. I know you just got back from his injury, but oh, Allison, that is an amazing save. This probably should be 1-1 right now. Oh my, what just happened there? I tried to clear it and that dude just fell. I thought it was a penalty. It's going to be a corner. That corner is swung in. Get it out. Get it out. Miller gets it out. You can just tell when you start a game how the other team's going to play. And so far, Villarreal, they look decent. Paul gives it to Messi. Messi's been a little bit quiet. Now, okay, that was that a pass from Messi? I actually don't even know. Here is Messi. Messi. And go for a left-footed finesse shot. That was a good shot. Messi's down to 84 rated, so his rating is dropping. It's very sad, but he is 41 years old, so it does make sense. Araujo, good header. Cleared off the line almost. Another delivery from Leo. Miller gets to it. Oh, another save. Okay, that's a bad rebound, though. Okay, Rodri could collect this. He tried to go for a volley, but can't get contact on the ball. Perez lays it off to Pedri. Waiting for Holst. Holst will shoot, and that almost was a very weird deflection. This is dangerous. Araujo, Araujo. Man, Araujo has been so good so far, too. This one in the future, he is, his stats are insane. Jorgensen plays it to Messi. Messi will lay it off to Koundé. Try to. Okay, Messi wins it back, though. That's the fight Messi's showing. He may not be the same player, but he's still Messi. Ramirez. Oh, Ramirez should have got to that. Jorgensen, Pedri, Ramirez, stay on side, please. I think he does. Pedri gets it to Sammy. Jorgensen shoots again, and Sammy actually misses. Okay, half time. This should be 2-0. We have just left the door open for Villarreal with that miss. Jorgensen gives it to Messi. Messi, good first touch, but man, Messi is not the same anymore. It's so sad. Okay, Pedri, though, is insane. That's a good tackle. Pedri into Messi. 
Make me regret my words. That shot was good, but it's a good save. Corner in. Okay, Messi's going for the header. It's not going to really work. Is it over to Rodri? Rodri can definitely shoot them, and that shot was going to go over the net, I think. Ramirez is a cross over to Jorgensen. Oh, that was beautiful. Messi heads it back into Sammy Jorgensen, and there is the second goal. Man, Jorgensen is such an absolute beast. Honestly, this whole team is so good. It's so much fun to use all these players again, like one final time, but 54th minute, it is 2-0. Jorgensen plays it to Miguel Ramirez. Ramirez could make this worse. Gets it back to Sammy Jorgensen for the hat trick and the sure goal. All right now, we are taking control of this game. And also the unselfishness from Ramirez here to play it back. We are building a team that plays together. Jorgensen gives it to Hull. So he's looked very solid on his debut. He's going to lose it though. I might have jinxed him. You know, that's a good ball. But defending has just been so solid all game long. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but they are so out of position. Pedri could score again. Rebound will be tried to put in by Hull since it'll be a save. All right, Felix, Fjorgensen, and a bunch of other subs. Let's see if we can get Jao Felix's first goal for Barcelona. Oh, they're trying to ruin this clean sheet, which they might know Raul Hull good defending, and they do not just yet. Ansu, long ball to Felix. Felix, can you win that? Felix, fight for it. Oh, he's not going to win it. Okay, uh, Thiago Messi, what a steal. Thiago gets it back. Felix, you're right there for the tap-in. Jao Felix gets his first goal, and he was just fed on an absolute plate. That was mostly Thiago Messi getting that steal. But Felix does get his first goal. It's a very, uh, it's not a, it's not a pretty one, but it's a goal nonetheless. Do you guys think Felix is going to get a Barcelona in real life? I feel like he's probably going to be decent, but after the year at Chelsea, it's hard to actually judge him. Because Chelsea were an absolute shambles. No, clean sheet will be ruined. Nope. Allison, amazing save. Come on, clean sheet. Please keep it. I don't want to ruin the clean sheet of Raul. We are actually going to keep the clean sheet. That game right there was perfect, though. And the impressive thing is Villarreal weren't that bad. We still played such a good game so 11 games in you can start to see who the real uh, main men of this team are of course it's gonna be Ramirez and Jorgensen are two highest rated players you know Messi's taking like kind of a backup role to them being more of a facilitator than an actual goal scorer but so far this team just looks amazing but even with that it still looks like it's gonna be a very competitive season between us Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid because so far all of us had a really similar starts like similar goals scored and also similar goals conceded too in terms of the Champions League two games two wins so looking good there and we now face PSV away where win this we pretty much finish first I feel like but before that it's time to send our youth scouts so of course we're gonna send one to spain because we have to now second one we're gonna do mexico now for the third one i did see a lot of comments saying uh brazil should maybe try and find the next neymar so we are gonna do that we're gonna go to brazil then look for a winger so spain mexico and brazil we'll see what we find it's pretty much our last little scouting run of this journeyman series but we now face psv with that lineup right there so messi gets a rest Jao felix in for him at right wing we got ball in there we got bastoni in there uh zakari as well so let's see if a rotated team semi-rotated can still get the job done against psv we're being honest we should it's pretty uh easy easy part of our schedule early part of the year we're not really facing that many good teams so these are the games we should win okay, saying that this guy's kind of in but bastoni should catch up here okay that was a great move Araujo tries to get to it but allison will make the save that was not a bad little attack right there zakaria zakaria great ball to felix felix jorgens is calling for it great cross to uh it was gonna be ramirez i think header all oh, try to get it to uh jorgensen but couldn't do it okay, psv actually looking pretty dangerous here that's a shot and is that a penalty is that a penalty oh man we took him out after we sh after he shot that probably should have been a penalty i think it was so much after the play where the ref didn't see it or didn't call it got very lucky there okay, that he will try to find jorgensen almost a good pass okay, they got a free kick not a bad spot for it that's awkward goes back to allison though and he will catch it jeremiah has got space ran into into former teammate at ajax jorgensen jorgensen gets it all the way back to jeremiah somehow okay let's try and find a good shot here felix Gets it to De Jong over. First time shot by Ramirez, but it's going to be blocked. Pedri to De Jong. De Jong looks for, looks for something. Oh, I thought Ramirez was going to cut inside there. This is dangerous, but Balde. Balde, great spot. Ramirez gets it to Jorgensen. Now we got a runner here. It might be De Jong. Frank De Jong. Jeremiah's calling for it at far post. Why not? Okay, that cross is beautiful. And Jeremiah, what a header. Okay, De Jong to Jeremiah is not a combo I think we'd use to score this game. But we just did. This cross by De Jong is, is perfect. And then Jeremiah is an equally as perfect header. Now defense out of position after scoring a goal, which happens a lot. But that is some good defending by Jeremiah now on this side of the field. Juan Miller and, uh, and Zane Just, they're not the best just like stats wise but they are just so reliable young out to ball day we know the cross maybe maybe not because pedri actually we can try and swing this win okay that's not exactly what i wanted but it was almost perfect and now uh, felix almost scored again this is dangerous bastoni bastoni oh bastoni that's a great tackle gonna need another one from saint just and that's another good one this might be the best defensive team we've had in the series which is not a surprise and that is half time like usually when we join a new team our defense always looks like shaky from the start but this team our defense looks pretty solid felix is jorgensen on side no he's just offside that was gonna be such a good ball from felix now that pass was very good 
Defense needs to be better. Araujo, good block. It kind of feels like the Vill Villarreal game. Like, PSV are not playing that bad, but barely a one goal lead right now. No, that is a great ball. Is he onside? He's actually onside here. Justin Clivert, but okay. His uh, Netherlands teammate just made a great recovery right there. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. Okay. We get a tackle and Araujo, good tackle, and we survive once again. We get to score the second, though. I feel like they're about to score. If we score the second, it might ruin their momentum. Which now, ball, they have so much space. Great pass into Sammy Jorgensen. It's that simple and it's 2 0. Okay, we can breathe a little bit better now. Felix, great ball to Miguel Ramirez. Ramirez should score this to make it three, and Miguel Ramirez scores. And another Zhao Felix assist. I mean, he's fit in perfectly in this team. That front three, whatever he's playing at striker, left wing, right wing. We have so many players that are like interchangeable. They are still trying, though, to get this one goal back, and they are going to get one back. Okay, Allison. I don't know if he didn't see the ball there, but he didn't even go for a save. It's 3 1. That was just a weird one. Just finally lost concentration defending, and yeah, that shot is uh. It's definitely a weird looking goal right there. Should not change the outcome of the game, though. Should not. Okay, Ansu hasn't really scored this season, but he has a chance here to get one. To make it four, that is some just really good defending, though. Okay, are they getting one back and make this 3-2? If they do, I'm going to be upset. Because we should not lose this much concentration at the end of the game. Okay, they might score that. Allison, save off the post, I believe. And I think that right there is game. Okay, other than that last goal, that was just another great game. Now, Juventus won, so there's still a chance that they can finish above us. But if we beat them again, then that's pretty much decided. Now, it's time for an actual big game, though. A big test for us again. We are facing Real Madrid, who now sit in first with a two-point lead after a few games. So, the first El Clasico, if we beat them, we jump into first. So this game is going to be huge. And that is what we've tried to tell the players in training. We tell them this game is going to be intense. Some of you are going to experience it for the first time. And we just say, no matter what happens, you can't lose your head. We're at home. So we have the home fans supporting us and we need to make them afraid to come play in our stadium. And then on game day, Jose Mourinho in his press conference says that him and I have had a lot of battles in England. And now these battles transition to Spain. And he says that he has a lot of respect for us. But for 90 minutes, that respect is thrown out the window. Now, this is a Real Madrid team that has uh, Yasuo Kimmich, Bellingham, Erling Holland at striker um hakimi and capia Militao. like this Real Madrid team is insane this is absolutely the meeting of two titans of football right now in the save and this one is going to be insane i'm terrified honestly like we haven't had to play against holland in a while because he left for Real madrid a few years ago so now in spain we have to play against him our first ever el clasico this is going to be nuts the fact they have a bellingham valverde and yasuo kimmich midfield that's just disgusting so we will see how this goes now kunde into sammy organson sammy against his norway teammate holland too Messi plays it back come on find a good pass here you got ramirez oh man that was going to be a good ball to Ramirez. Oh, now the counterattack ensues. I believe Isak is offside. He is a mile offside. You can see their game plan, though, what they're trying to do here. Jorgensen, good first touch, gets it over to Messi. Messi will try and dink it up to someone, dinks it up to, I don't know who that was, but he, he did not get it. Pedri gets still. Rodri, Rodri, a chance to absolutely bang one, and Rodri hits the crossbar from that far out. That goal would have been amazing. Holland, stop. Holland is going to try to find Isak. He's going to find instead Bellingham. Gets it back to Holland. Araujo blocks it and Miller gets it out. Pedri gets it out to Kunde. Kunde gets it to Messi. Messi. Chance for a finesse shot of his own. Messi finesse shot and Lino Messi scores. Oh man, his first goal of the episode had to be in the El Clasico. It just had to be. One nail to Barcelona. He has been quiet all episode long, but this is what Messi can do. All of a sudden he arrives and that finesse shot is just beautiful. 15 minutes in, one nil to Barca. I mean, Messi knows how important this game is, so he is going to show up. Okay, that was almost a good idea. Pedri out to Kainkosi. Kainkosi gets it to Jorgensen. That's a good steal by Shula though. Did not have let him slow the ball in that spot. Can make to Valverde and to Holland, but that pass was terrible. Get it back to Allison and we are just going to Clear it. Actually, a great pass to Kimmich. We keep possession. The Barcelona way here. The triangles. Just keep playing this ball forward. Messi to Jorgensen. Jorgensen out to Kunde. Get it back to Messi. That's not exactly what I wanted. Rodri gets it over to Ramirez. Ramirez into Messi. Messi stops. Back to Frank de Jong. Pass over. Pedri shot. Oh, what a save by their keeper. De Jong, header. Goes back to Messi. Messi, similar spot, and it goes to the keeper again. Okay, that save was insane. We know their keeper. We had him at Tottenham. We sold him to Real Madrid for like a hundred and something million. Pretty sure he's uh, the Neuer regen. I do not know what just happened there, but Kunde, I'm going to call that a great steal. Although, I'm not sure what I just saw. Oh, man, Holland behind. Okay, we can defend this. I think we can. Araujo. Okay, I underestimated. I underestimated Raho's speed there. I thought we were going to catch up to Holland easily, but we did not. Erling Holland scores, and it's 1-1. Man, I should have just ran out of more. I really thought we could take a better angle here, but it's a great finish. Okay, it's 1-1. Messi, Holland score. It's going to be this kind of game. Go see. Has Ramirez over here. Ramirez looking for his first goal in and El Clasico and Miguel Ramirez scores. Oh man, 2-1. We retake the lead. Man, Kai and Kosi, Miguel Ramirez, you can see the chemistry there. They've been playing together for like what? Probably 12, 13 years. Now both joined Barcelona and this the chemistry is still there. 2-1 in the 41st minute. Definitely not gonna be the last goal in this game though. Not gonna lie, that pass by, was that De Jong? That was incredible. And it leads to this counterattack. Jorgensen 
plays it over to Lionel Messi. What a counterattack. Oh man, 45th minute, 3-1 to Barcelona. It's Messi again. That pass, that had to be, that was De Jong, right? Oh man, the pass to start that counter was insane. And then it's a great pass by Jorgensen. 3-1 in the final five minutes of the first half. We have just shocked Real Madrid. Okay, they're looking for a response here though. Kosi gets in front Holland. Please mark him. Holland gets it over. Get the ball out. Good defending. We clear it. And that should be the first half. And it is. All right. So far, I would say very good. Let's just keep it up. Isak plays it over. Kunde should have that. Kunde. Okay. Kunde. That was a little, uh, little worrying. Building up to Holland. But Araujo read that pass beautifully. Jorgensen gets it to Messi. Messi waits for Ramirez. Oh, man. Should have played it to actually Jorgensen. Holland again. Araujo. Araujo. I think we have him. No. Holland stops perfectly. Plays to Akimi. They're going to get it back to Holland. Come on. We got the shot. We got it. This is marked beautifully. Kai and Kosi. Good tackle. Ramirez. Loses it, but that should be a goal kick. Okay. We somehow survived that. Young Jorgensen gets to Ramirez. Over to Pedri. Great ball to Ramirez. Oh my. We are playing some beautiful football right now. No, someone's got to be there. No. Wait, headers won again. Jorgensen, turn around, finish, and that goes in. It's 4 1. What a weird attack, but Jorgensen scores. Okay, that was just a header back in the box, and it somehow went to Jorgensen. First time finish, just redirects it, and keeper can't save it. Probably wasn't expecting that, but Jorgensen, a little touch of brilliance, and then the keeper, just terrible save, actually. 58th minute, 4 1 to Barcelona. Okay, Rodrigo just literally chopped Kunde. Apparently, that's not a foul, and I'm waiting for this pass back. Good save by Allison, and Kai Kosi gets it out. Hey, we have withstood most of what Real Madrid thrown at us, and continue to just play our game. Messi, Messi around one. Messi four. That is that a hat trick? That is a hat trick for Lionel Messi in the first El Clasico of the year. It's 5-1. What a result. Now, this is one of those low, low shot finishes where sometimes keepers just don't know what to do with it. Like, maybe it was a good shot, actually. Just Lionel Messi knows exactly where to put it where the keeper can't get it. Man, quiet episode so far. All of a sudden, Messi hat trick against Real Madrid. That is just absolutely nuts. Someone stop Holland. Someone, someone stop Holland. It's going to be 5-2. It's just if Holland finds a little bit of space and no one's there, he always just blows right by them. Hey, okay, calm down. You guys are down three goals still. Calm down. It's that easy for him, and it's 5-2. Okay, we cannot let them score another, though. We need to keep possession, control the end of this game. Bro, all of a sudden, they have life. All of a sudden, they have life. Araujo, get it out. Okay, that was very dangerous. Where is the defense? Bellingham is going to try to get it back to Holland. I think he is, but Miller, good tackle. What we got to do is survive these attacks for a little bit longer. Oh, that was bad pass by Messi, actually. Bellingham. Gonna go for a shot. Oh, no slide tackle. Another one. That one was better. Oh, man. Kai and Kosi, first time ball to Jorgensen. Crossover. Okay, I tried to play to Messi. That did not work. Bro, they're not giving up, though. They're playing crazy intense when they're in this game. And they might score another. No. Okay, Kai and Kosi barely got to that. I mean, they may have gotten destroyed this game, but they are not quitting. And is that a penalty? No, Kunde. Great tackle, actually. Corner sent in. Out by Lionel Messi. I don't know why he's at the near post. Bellingham gets around Kunde, but Kunde, great defending. They could have scored more this game, but our defense has been better. Or just good enough to only concede two, I would say. And their defense can't say the same for that. I mean, uh, Pep Guardiola had a lot of iconic wins against Real Madrid, and I feel like this is our first like 5-2 a messy hat trick at age 41 this is definitely one of our most favorite wins of the series our first up Glasgow we just smacked Real Madrid the passing of the team today the defense played good enough all I'm gonna say is we were the right man for Barcelona and the results show that so far now in our post-match interview we say that we are so proud of the team this is not an easy game to play in and they played amazing Jose talked a lot of talk before the game and we did our talking on the field I mean it's very early days but it feels like this team is just on fire right now and with that win we jump into first place still unbeaten now next episode we get our youth scouting reports back and there's been some early indications that our scouts may have found a special player so if you want to see that then drop this video a like we got a new video over on Tyster plus out so click on screen for that and as always hope you guys have a great day